I think I can speak for all of us. This is incredibly emotional for all of us here on the stage. Not least because there are so many parallels between the closing of a play and the closing of a shipyard. Some of the lines we're saying as actors are so appropriate to our own lives, just as they're appropriate to the lives of shipbuilders fighting for their livelihood. You know, one of, one of the ideals that an actor will strive for is for the needs and the emotional landscape of the character to coincide with the needs and the emotional landscape of the actor playing that character. Now, we have that in spades up here. That goes, that goes somewhat in explaining some of the intensity on stage in every performance. Um, one of the lines hit me tonight more than any other. Uh, it was Colin, a lovely young actor who plays young Tom. <laughs> Towards the, the end of the second act, he says this to his mother. He says, there'll never be another ship like this. Not one that I built. And every actor on the stage owns that line. There will never be another ship like this. Not one that we built. <laughs> Thanks to my great friend Jimmy Nail. I have never felt such love and support from this wonderful group of human beings. I will never forget this as long as I live. So not only the people on stage, the people below the stage, these musicians here underneath in the subway. The stage hands. The technical crew, the sound, the lights, the wardrobe, the dresses, the makeup, the the front of house staff. So, tonight we are going to celebrate. We are unbowed. We are unashamedly, unapologetically proud of the work we've done here on this. Father James, Patrick <laughs> O'Brien, with those immortal words which really kind of sum up this whole thing. <laughs> After three, everybody. One, two, three. Four!